guys it is Zach here and Saturday night uh, as you can see I got a lot of wood on this trailer and I'll show you why <laughs> I am kind of redoing my workbench uh, this is something that I've wanted to do in a while, for a while uh, <clears throat> basically what I've done is on this right hand side here I have uh, cut away three of these boards. Um, I think these are two by tens. Let me measure. Uh, two by eights. These two by eight boards, eight, sixteen, twenty-four inches, two feet of space here. I uh, this came out before and took up that much more room, and I found that it became a spot for uh, clutter to build up because you'd be working right here and you have a little bit of workspace and then all this back here you can't even I can barely even touch this so all that two feet became kind of wasted space so what I've done is I just um, <clears throat> marked and cut these um, these ones are marked before this one I hacked off tonight I don't really mind because it's just a workbench um, and I really like how it's turning out so far on top of it, I'm just going through stuff and throwing it out. Um, another big change, which I don't know if I've showed you guys this in the past, but this here had cabinets on the front, but they, there wasn't there wasn't uh, any shelves behind the cabinets, and I found that having the cabinet doors there really Having, sorry, there's a spider. Um, having cabinet doors really uh, prohibited me putting anything back there. I would just put those little one pounders back there, and that was it because it was just a collection of spider webs and junk back there. So, what I did is I took all those doors off, and I have to add one more of these two by eights. I reused three of them one there, one there, one there. I want to put one there, some sort of board. I got plenty of lumber left and then uh, let me walk over here and show you what these the outside of these uh, cabinet doors look like I think the previous owner was just kind of fooling around when he did it or getting into cabinet making but they're nice uh, oak I believe heavy cabinets but they, there's no shelves behind them so I really don't know what they were storing back there but I wanted Oh, I get the hiccups. I want the ability to store stuff back here. And what I really want is a couple of little rolling carts. Um, one for the welder. Uh, and just another one or two for uh, maybe throw a toolbox on it or something to get it out of the way. Um, so this is a subwoofer box that I had. And I went through and I salvaged. I'm kind of big on this. I salvaged. The little sh screws that I had. I, have a, I probably got two dozen of them out of this box and there's a couple more that I missed. I got some right on this side and some in there which is on the inside and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep all that wood, break it apart and keep it. Probably won't keep the one with the hole in it. Um, I'm going to go through and pick apart these two, knock all the nails out. I have a little lumber pile back there. My garage is a mess. Had a nice piece of uh, plywood underneath here they, they had put like in there's like a false floor for like a third of it once again I don't know why a bunch of junk collected underneath it I got a cabinet here that was from inside of the house they had in the laundry room I had to break that apart too and throw it out or figure out something to do with it obviously it's not going to go in here cabinets like that just take up so much space in a garage and I really just don't need don't need that. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna salvage a bunch of this wood and make actually all those are cut. Wow, a lot of sirens. Jesus. Um weird. I heard a really low flying plane like two minutes ago and then the neighbors left.
I live right by the uh, police station. Anyways, close this back up. Um, I'm gonna take some of these boards. I'm gonna nail them together, and then, and then take a piece of this plywood top, and then get some casters and screw them to the bottom, and use it as my welding cart. I was gonna make it out of metal, but if I have all the material here, other than casters, which I'd have to buy, I can save myself a little bit of money and uh, and just build a wooden one for this. Obviously, I don't do a ton of welding, so I'm not worried about it burning up or anything, but that way I can roll it underneath the the uh, workbench here. And then I got a lot of the garage came kind of finished, like the biggest portion of it. So you can see the two big walls insulated and everything. Um, so tomorrow I'm taking this big bump out. Um, right now we have totes of Christmas stuff up there and I have a couple light bars up there and I don't really know what else. I'll, I guess I'll find out what's up there but I got a ladder now so I can finally get up there and take, I take all the screws out of that sheetrock and drop it down nicely and then remove all that and just put that sheetrock back up in there and it'll it should work out really nice but I'm taking that out so that's in there and then I want to take my canoe put some hooks in the walls or either in the ceiling joists or in the walls and then lift this up and in there and then I want to put shelves across so I can stack up all these different totes and, and camping gear and stuff and just get everything up off the floor looks like hell in here because I have all these hanging and from doing my trailer project that's finished now but um, and then get the ladder hanging up there underneath it or or whatever this can actually be hung on the bottom or whatever but I just need to get that in there so yeah that's basically what that is um, and then I want to work on getting this finished all the way which really wouldn't take a whole lot it would take the ceiling would take a lot I might get some cheaper, well, see, and that's the problem with the ceiling. I have all that extra stuff up there for the house, so it does have to be somewhat accessible. I don't even know how they got that up there. That's a huge box. I don't know how they got that up there. They must have pushed it up and then slid all the pieces under or something, but... That actually doesn't matter. I'll probably just go right over. It's no one's business. Um, and then we're going to do the roof next weekend, hopefully. So that'll be gone. That's taking up a bunch of room. It's just getting really crowded in here. And I'm trying... I mean, this looks completely different now. I want to get one more light here. Get this all finished off. I would love to get a natural gas heater, but they're pretty expensive. Um, yeah. So essentially that's really what I got going on right now, working on just getting this cleaned up today and tomorrow. Um, got to fill this up with leaves and get that going too, but that'll be a little while. <sighs> yeah, so yeah, that's what I got going on guys. If I can get this deep gone and that taken care of, this will really pan out nice. It'll look, that takes up, you know, four by four by four. As you can see, it's become a junk collector. So if I could just get this sheetrocked and it'll look so much brighter in here. And this is actually a major selling point for this house because <laughs> there's not like a workshop or anything to do do any sort of work like that here. So having the ability of a two car garage with this nice, nice workshop and the cement pad goes all the way over so you could actually make it, that'd be like a three car garage. Really? You could park one that way. Wow, there's a lot of sirens going on out there. Unbelievable. Anyways, so that's what I got going on. And yeah, so that's what I'm working on tonight, guys. Hope you enjoy it. I'm going to upload this, get it going. But it was just, it, it, this looks a lot more in friendly. And it'll seem a lot more friendly once I get these shingles out of here, too. Um, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in another video.